Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival 1.8. My name is Spanch. Thank you very much, guys, for all the comments. Um, reminding me where the core is on this place. That last console at the end of last episode, if you just fly up to the top of that, you can actually see you shoot out the core and replace it with your own. So you can salvage this thing. You can get the juicy bits out of it. I have salvaged, I've just done off camera, just finished now, salvaging all the juice off of this ship okay um i'm not going to go through trying to take all the blocks out and, and stuff I, i'd be there for hours but i've still got a core attached to it so it's something that i may be able to come back to once i've got a sort of tool turret um which they're actually I, I do have a tool turret it's just again i'm not going to do it right now there is a tool turret on the front of this ship that you can salvage so it actually gives you everything you need in order to tear the tear it tear the damn thing apart basically um but all like generators and fuel tanks and so on and so forth are in my factory now uh, i'm building up towards the jupiter uh, i don't know if that's the ship that i'll actually end up going with but uh, that's what i'm using at the moment to absorb the resources shall we say anyway so last episode the next mission was you need to find a colonist way station to make contact with glad yeah so uh, he suggested going to the moons around the gas giants is where there may be a colonist way station. I seem to remember one either being in orbit of this planet or in orbit around Siena. Um, but in any case, we can simply just go back to. Oh, it may be Uabian. There's a second gas giant here, isn't there? There's Crown, where we start, but there's also Uabian and Uabian Moon. So perhaps that's where the game is intending us to go rather than back to the starting sectors again. As I don't seem to remember a colonist way station being up above, above those planets at all. Uh, let's try it, Wabian Moon. In that case, and yeah, straight away we've got a uh, we've got a waypoint to the way station. Immediately, okay. So it's the other gas giant. The other gas giant in this sector. We've got hang on, inertia off, please. We've got uh, copper, silicon, magnesium, and ice. I'm not going to worry too much about resources at this point. I'm just going to try and get to the story part enough to uh, to get to the point where it's going to send us out of this solar system, out of Elyon, on our way in among the galaxy. At that point, I'm going to see if I can get some resources into bringing in a bigger ship. The Volos here, wonderful uh, little ship to get us going, but not really... Uh, I don't want to say seaworthy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um... It's already seaworthy for the greater, the greater cosmos, shall we say. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can get a bigger ship before we do that. But let's plow through the missions until then. Then we'll come up with a plan. All right, Chapter 6, Uncertain Outcomes, has started. Here is the way station as well. All right, let me uh, align myself with the playfield. Turn the inertia back on. This seems to be the station where we were said to meet Section of 32. Ooh. I'll be excited there. Can we actually get through? Oh, it's just like ever so slightly too big, I think. I don't know what it's clipping on. The, the, the gun on the bottom, look. <laughs> it's always like, damn, man. <laughs> that would have been cool. Never mind, we'll, we'll park back here like a, like a pleb. Like a commoner. What do with that ship in there? Nice and, nice and tight like that. Okay, let's go and say hello to these people. So this is a colonist station? Yeah, so I can't access any of the boxes here, but there is like a hidden room. A code somewhere, I swear, but this you to the core. After that, you're on your own. Alright, so do have some traders here then. Um, oh, we can sell some of our stuff to this guy. Fantastic, because we actually do have these uh, objects here that are quite valuable. It's a shame he's not buying, like, the um, tribal furnishings. Five liquors. Sell that. Lovely. Um, the luxury goods. Sell, sell, sell. Doesn't want the technical artifacts, though, by the looks of it. Optronics and coolant and stuff. Didn't I have coolant somewhere? Sure of it. Almost certain. And yet, I don't seem to have any. I think I might have sold it. I think I might have sold it before. All right, fine. That's that guy. He's cool. This guy is a info trader. There's a gin console. Do we have any 
um, explorer tokens? Actually, don't. It's all seals of credibility. It's just three seals of credibility with a talon. Let's attack him. Until it all in. This guy will buy a lot of the basic weapons, though. That's pretty good. Small bridges. And we got this guy. Commodities. Toxic waste. He'll buy the technical artifacts. There we go. Alright. I got I only got one, but you know, still. Ka-ching. Alright, it's a pretty good way station, actually. Really. Commodities wise, like selling wise. Okay, we go up here and into here. And we get greeted by a smiley face 32 on it. Uh what? You seem to be surprised to speak to a hovering smiley face. <laughs> I'm afraid we have some security measures. Uh what are you? Currently, I can't relay any of that information, I'm afraid. But let's get started. The Xerox scum are always on our heels, and the AI protecting our little meeting is already detecting some cyber espionage patterns trying to break into our conversation. I'm listening. First and foremost, I am your contact person, Section of 32, on behalf of GLAD, the Galactic Liberation and Defense Organization. I would like to thank you for answering our call. You won't regret it. Uh, and that means, first, we would like to send you on a simple mission. Go to the asteroid field at the edge of the Elyon system. There you will find a Polaris mining system. Approach it and wait for further orders. Your suit AI has just been sent a mission package. It will decrypt step by step that reveal all the necessary information when you arrive there. Thank you very much. Nothing to worry about. Just a little surveillance task. Take care. and communication. Thank you very much. Let's go. <laughs> Speed read. Um, yeah, we're done here. We're absolutely done here. So, we need to go to the asteroid field. Um... But there's a mining facility, and I think that might be the planetary remnant, or it leads to the planetary remnant. Um, and then that is also another source of lots of lots of materials. Assuming it's not actually like uh, Polaris owned and stuff. There it is, R B P B row. That's the that's how you pronounce it as well. There it's go. Lots of resources here. The mining facilities off there. Iron, copper, silicon, magnesium, cobalt, neodymium, promethium, sathium, pentaxid. That's the one I'm really interested in at the moment. Pentaxid. That I need to. Uh, I need, I need to increase my yields of pentaxid because I think all I have in there is three, and what's in the tank right now? You know, that is my the sum of my pentaxid. Um. Oh, 21. Sorry, I lied. <laughs> so I definitely need some pentaxid. Uh, looks like there is a contact here. Hostile level one something. Not actually Xerax or anything. So pretty safe asteroid field. Let's get to this mining facility though and see what see what's going on. All right, Polaris mining facility. Here we go. We'll pull up to the top of the platform, I think. Oh god, we've got reports. This is Polaris mining facility. It's found something interesting. Your mission: retrieve that information so we can investigate them further. Park your vessel on or in range of the upper pad. Then go to the landing permission signal to update the, the mission, all right? Landing permission signal, huh? This guy, right. I have hacked the station computer, not only a landing permission, but to um, announce you as an inspector. You can go wherever you want, use this advantage, but don't attract suspicion. Walk around for a while, talk to the station manager, then find your con our contact at the transport manager desk. Right, okay. Let's walk around for a bit. The station manager is this dude here. Hello, Gerald. Uh, I hope you had a good flight. Those Xerox patrols are, patrols are annoying. Annoying and deadly. Um, may I speak to the shift manager? Of course. I'm currently busy with writing reports. Uh, meanwhile, the station is at your disposal. Thanks. Okay, fine. Right. Da, 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 da. Let's inspect, shall we? Hello, everybody. Casually just inspecting. Nothing to inspect or worry about. Just inspecting. I actually need to go upstairs. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, Inspector. Glad you're here. Glad you are here. First, let me note uh, the mining operation of the planet have gone very well. I often feel like the remnant when I look at these blah, 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 blah. You would be surprised if you don't often descend into the dark mine to find stuff. Um, need some guidance, even if it's a staff or a stick, before entering the place where ancient history is still breathing. Going in. What? <laughs> um. Leave before the rats come after you. Let me know when you're ready so we can cheer with a smiley face. Okay, thanks. Weirdo. Weird, cryptic weirdo. Weirdo. To the cellar. It's not a cellar, is it? Let's be honest. The mine. This has been a strange conversation with any coherence. Maybe a code? Duh. Nobody talks like that. 
How do we get out of here? Wait. Um, go to the mine shaft. <laughs> shaft. I think I make that joke every single time I do this. Right. Hello. Shaft. Investigate. Wow. A power coil. I love it. This seems to be a container. Let's look inside. Did already. Can I mine this? Probably not. Is that a different texture or is it just me? It does not look like the Promethean that I know. I have investigated. Okay, okay, we'll look inside again. Sorry, I, did, I looked inside too quickly. This is the Staff of Guidance. What? What are you talking about? Oh look, I got a stick. <laughs> Yay, it's the stick of truth. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm under attack. Ship, protect me. What the hell? Escape. Escape. Hang on, I wanted to talk to these traders to see what they're um what they're selling. Because they're selling sathium and magnesium and stuff. And you are selling Pentax. Hmm. Oh, I could sell you all the strange things. Crew! Amazing. Oh, oh sorry. You are selling. No, I can sell. Yes. I always get that around the wrong way. I can never remember which bloody way around it goes. You've got uh, 1,209 and taxed. No storage. Yeah, but how much? 360. Hmm. What if I was to connect to my input box? Could I then buy out all of your pentaxid? That'll save me actually mining it. That's Promethean. Damn it. <laughs> 209. 36 grand. Bingo. Yes. Promethean and pentaxid. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? Um, we're escaping. Of course. Muppets. Absolute Muppets. Honestly. Right. Yeah. Bye. I have escaped. Is that escaping? Have I escaped? <laughs> What's going on? Lair. Um. I mean, technically I've escaped, right? Escape. Make your way to your vessel. How far away do I need to get? Alright. I'll just keep going, I guess. I made my way to my vessel. I would consider myself escaped. I don't know about you guys. I would definitely say... I am one with the escaping right now. <laughs> okay, okay. It's. I think it's broken again. So, uh, investigate. I've done that. God. I'm picking up hostile signals. We should leave immediately. Okay, so that, that is what I've done. Right, okay. So I think I can just go, I've escaped. Thanks. Uh, right, find planetary remnant. Uh, you over there. What are you doing here? Freeze. What? <laughs> it's all gone up. It's all gone wonky. Commander, I managed, managed to decode the hints the shift manager gave us. I think I found the planetary remnant. I have a marker on your HUD. Thanks. 30 kilometers. This will be a fun ride. Oh, yeah. Hopefully the PDA doesn't lose its mind again. <laughs> it's all gone wonky. Oh dear. You know, I wouldn't mind long journeys like this um, so much if there was actually something going on. That's taking place. Yeah, I'd rather like. I, I don't know if it seemed possible within uh, the code. Look how far out this thing is. It's ridiculous. It's a 30 kilometer trip across the sector. Um, I don't know if it's possible, but it would be quite cool if we just got like attacked on the way by drones or like a pirate ship or something. Some random occurrence on long journeys like that. Just to break up the monotony of just basically just staring at this thing, waiting for this number to reduce. Anyway, um, there's more than enough things <laughs> that I wish this game had, but uh, there we go. It's not that bad, really. It uh, allows you to take stock and enjoy the view. All right, the same station we just escaped from, just a little bit more menacing. Let's see if the staff of guidance will let us through this. We'll land on the lower platform this time, next to the perimeter beacon. All right, so this uh, actually is a Polaris base, so we can't mine it. Or we could, but we'd, we'd absolutely screw our reputation up with Polaris. Which I have done before, and it's not worth it. 
It really isn't. Um, so. Let's go. Right. I suggest we start up in the control room. God damn it, I literally just flew down here. You're going to make me fly all the way up here. Can I at least go onto this platform? It sounds like some Xeraxians and Scorpions. Bloody hell. Station locked down, deadly force authorized. Other faction. Can't get in there. Hey, 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 okay. So I, I have to go up the elevator shaft, right? Sorry. Thought I'd uh, speed things up by using my jetpack there, but never mind. I'm on a wonk. De wonk, please, game. Me or the Xerax and uh, Legacy coexisting here? Or are they Xeraxified, le um, a Legacyified Xerax? They look like regular Xerax to me. Yeah, regular Xerax. An access terminal, something or other. Something about an access terminal. Do not reload. Oh. I'm more concerned about the signs we just passed. Grab these Xerax. This seems weird to me. Why is a perfectly healthy normal Xerax among legacy scorpions? This is an unholy alliance of doom, this is. It's not good. Right, access terminal. Whoever finds this, this is hilarious. We found it. The legends are true. The Talon, they were once with the Xerax. The construction plans of the charged bows proof. The troopers destroy all evidence, but in the core room, I will try to get and inform. Right. Ooh, no, don't do that. Still a Polaris base. Still can't loot stuff. Um, so the Xerox Talon somehow history and the proof is hidden below in the asteroid. Ooh. Yeah, well, we kind of knew this from the beginning missions now, didn't we? They they were talking about the Talon assembly, or there was hints of the Talon assembly, uh, on the start of moons. But this is not news. This is like, yeah, catch up. Come on. <laughs> Just gotta offload a bit of stuff here. Right, let's go on. I've got the, got the, the stick of truth on me. Right. And we gotta go this way. Down the shaft. Into the scorpion nest. Yeah, Pr Promethean is looking a little weird, isn't it? Damn things. I hit footsteps everywhere. It's all looking a bit funkylicious in here. Output. Let's just loot into that for now. We'll sort it out later. So there was one more, maybe not. Can't really retreat from this position. I seem to be stuck on something. The scorpions are just biting my face off right now. Uh, they seem to have given me a poisonous bite. I think. What is that? Dermal parasite. And now I've got a problem. I don't think I have any bandages. Open wound. First aid kit. Nightshade. Yikes. 
Doing this without any bandages is going to be interesting. Gravity is a little strong here. Oh, God damn it. So many scorpions. Wow. So many scorpions. Let's see, some loot is, is good, some loot is not. There's another tier 2 repair bay, thank you very much. Delightful. Alright, let's jump down this shaft. get to a position where I'm not like getting hit from every direction you know I can access these cargo boxes and loot those it's just certain ones like those barrels for some reason is there anything behind here I think there is all right well there was a loot crate down here but I mean just those little containers fine Or the beacons. These materials, the inscriptions, very familiar. If you say so. Now we've got Pentaxid and Arrestrum. And Legacy Spiders. Take it, I'll take it. Freaking bugs, man. Rocket launcher there. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll keep that reloaded. So much meat. Oh boy. Actually hitting me. He was hitting me. Son of a... Training facility, what are these Xerx creatures doing down here? Yes, well indeed. That is the question. Oh, hello boys. Hey, you go up the elevator then, I'm going to stay down here, if that's alright. <laughs> what? And they're like, it's over, human! We have the high ground! Yeah? Well, you underestimate my power! Damn, yeah, shut up. Oh! Hey, some things... Some things are unlocked, some things are not. It's bizarre. It also makes it really difficult to know what I can loot and what I can't. <laughs> Just hot luck, I guess. That was actually a live spider there, I just stood on it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Definitely not a military compound. I think if we have a little fly around this place, we find like some hidden, hidden uh, caverns and stuff. It's difficult to tell what is like a cavern and what is not a kind of thing. This one, for example, has got a little light source in it, so some Zask and a laser and another T2. <laughs> repair pad. You're going to have repair pads for days. I'm not sure. I think that's it. Uh, I don't think there are any more, but I could be wrong. There's little, like, sneaky holes like that. Did you fall? Did, yeah, didn't you? A little fall. That's where we've got to go, that platform there. Other than that, I think that's it. have a little jetpack around there just in case any sneaky little cubby holes but I think that's it we should probably go back to the platform where we, where we came in on I can bloody find it um yeah <laughs> um Dizzy, where did I come in on yeah yeah here it is right let's go up here what the hell a buttonhole. Where did he come from? Bloody hell! I mean, ninety health back for eating a um, dino stew. All my meds are specific, like um, fix something meds, rather than just general heal meds. I just need some general heal meds right now. I'm reading extremely high energy fluctuation. Someone is trying to access my database. The info I managed to code has some interesting implications. Why are we here? Honestly. Simple mission. Go to this planetary remnant up all these scorpions and stuff. No big deal. They sent me here to die. I what they did. Glad my ass. More like set up scumbags. All right. Information we got indicates this is part of an ancient station of the so-called Xerox Teller Assembly. Uh, what lies in front of you seems to be one of the sections within the AI core of some database. Yep. Hi. Welcome, Keeper of the Staff Guidance. How can I serve you? Um, I need to access the data nodes. I'm afraid many parts of the data nodes are destroyed. And possibly due to the removal of the containment shields, the degradation of information continues. This place is doomed! At least to service my humble self has managed to re reactivate some of the data displays behind me. Take whatever you get and make the best of it. Um, Yuan, Noble Keeper of the Staff. Cheers then. Check panel one. Da -da. One. Um, I've read this all before so you can pause the video if you want to read through that stuff uh, but it's kind of summaries of like the old sort of ancient technologies that Talon had and <laughs> the technology that they used to use and stuff uh, there's an ultra rare container I don't have a um, Wi-Fi connection right now so that's just going to have to get my inventory and uh, yeah, the Academy of Science and then the Xerox Talent Assembly. There we go. The legacy has followed them to this galaxy. Ooh. I had a strong feeling that the information might change everyone's understanding of what happened here in Andromeda. I'd, uh, I, indeed, I'm already analyzing the next text on the displays. We should head back to section 32 and deliver the weapon schematics. Activate teleporter. Hey. Okay. Is it this one? Control room, planetary remnant. Right, maybe it's this one. Not active. Okay. 
not active. Okay. Portal's not active. Okay. It is just this one then. <laughs> Hello? Alright. Oh yeah, we're back here. Okay, fine. Let me at least go out this door now. No! I have to go back down the elevator shaft. Shaft it then. Let's go. Right, so we got to head back to the way stations. We're going to warp out of here. Uh, I might just take the time while I'm here to pick up some more. Uh, I bought a bunch of pentaxes, didn't I? Never mind. Ignore me. Let's just go. Um, I gotta offload some stuff and then let, and then let's go. Okay, back to the way station. Here it is. I have a feeling that we are not in this galaxy by accident. You only just twig in there, are you? I mean, we've already been through the logs of the uh, UCH thing, where basically we could see it wasn't a freaking accident. Some of the data nodes and calculations indicate you might be correct about that. Yeah, just a smidge. All right, let's talk to this glad dude. Hello, smiley face. I'm back. Hello, my dear friend. Don't talk to me like that. Seems you were more lucky with your mission than we ever expected. You expected me to die. I know you sent me to go and die. Uh, I has already sent out the schematics of talent, energy, weaponry. After a quick analysis, we're confident we can finally be able to mass produce them, of course. Um, as you have learned, the talent are not the ignorant natives under Xerox control. Everyone thinks they are. They have, there have been many unsuccessful attempts to change that situation. There have Thanks to your efforts. Okay. This will definitely shake up the sector. And then the galaxy. Please take these technical components as compensation for the dangers you faced on our behalf. We think you could probably make good use of them. Now, please excuse me. We'll speak again soon. Commander, I must say that I'm not entirely sure we've done a good deed by helping these glad guys. Calculations indicate this will certainly set something off. Possibly we have just lit the fuse of the galactic powder keg thanks to the involvement here. No denying. Uh, we should try to learn more and get prepared for what is surely about to come. Let's get going. What technical things did they give us in conversation? It, was that the, the two water miner things? I thought I looted those. The thing with these PDA things, though, is back to vessel. How does it know when I'm in my vessel? Oh, there we go. When I enter a pilot seat, I guess. <laughs> I was just to let you know that we have received all the information you recently found out about the talents of assembly in the war of silence. Things are starting to make sense, although the information is extremely fragmented now. Analysts will need some time to put things in the correct context of the big picture, at least the parts we know about. That being said, we think it is time we meet in person. We owe you some answers. Find Sigma Zero system situated in the area between the Xerax Traders Guild and Polaris territories. Fly to the asteroid field in that sector. We'll send you your location when you arrive there. Sincerely, Section of Five. Sigma Zero system is the system outside of this solar system. We can search for it. Uh, Sigma. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it's type Sigma? Sigma? Uh, well, it's it's down here anyway. It's, it's I don't know why that didn't come up. Did I, do I need to search for the type Sigma zero? Is that what? There we go. Okay, so you need to type the type Sigma zero. Actually not called Sigma zero. It's called Olamamimius. <laughs> but it's down there and it, it's easy to find because it has its own little ter territory sphere thing. Um, just like Veil vale Beta, which we'll need to go to, I think, at some point. There's the Brotherhood of Far. Barrow, Del Barrow Delta is the home world. Astu Delta is the pirate home system. Pirates have a home system. De Decara Alpha, UCH hideout look. Yeah, Pelias home system. All right, all right, cool. Here we are, Elion, in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so, yeah. We need to go warpy warps outside of the system. Now, I did pick up a bunch of pentaxes, so I think I can make it. But like I said, I do want to maybe look at getting a slightly bigger ship or before we go there. So I think what I'm going to do is going to head back to Omicron, um, park the Volus and maybe use it as a kind of, well, it is a base, all intents and purposes. I might see if I can convert it into a little miner. Uh, use that top, that bottom turret there as a, as a mining turret instead. Swap out one of the boxes for a, um, or an, where is it? A harvest box, basically. Container control ammo. There it is. Or wood container. Bingo. Because uh, we've already got the tool turret in 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 our. There, there she is. Look. So let's head to. Omicron, and we can do that. 
in the comforts of a breathable atmosphere. Alright, here we go. Welcome back to Omicron, everybody. I'm just going to park here in the desert, I think. Nice sort of open area. Flat-ish. That is, until I try and land. <laughs> there we go, that'll do nicely. Lovely, right. Turn on power save, turn off the thrusters. Okay, so what I need to do in order to turn this into a little miner is I need to clear one of these boxes out. This one is good because it's only 11,500. It means a 16 KSU container. Um, if I just build like a basic cargo box, one of these, I can offload that entire thing into it. Which means I can then take the container controller out and swap it. Uh, so, simply, box... Container. Turn the shields off. Um, I might need to move the old nightshade out of here, actually. Oh, that's loud noises. We can go on the roof now, nightshade. Nightshade. Okay. Perfect. Bits there as well. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. While we're working in here, we can get a 16 KSU container there, like that. Access that. Grab the output box, swap that entirely into there. And then um, actually probably need to connect to it as well because we're connected to the very box we're about to destroy. <laughs> Let's not do that. Connect to the new one and then take that out. Take a container extension out as well. Actually, it's probably a bad choice, that one. Um, yeah, okay, hang on. It's a bad choice, that one. Uh, the reason I take a container extension out as well is because uh, it, when you put a new one in, it doesn't quite register it. So put the ore and wood in there, 31,000. So it looks like it has picked it up then. Maybe they've changed it. Maybe they've updated it. Maybe they fixed it. There we go. 320 KSU ore and wood container. We're still within CPU. That's good. And the next one is the tool turret itself. Grab that. Let's go outside. And we need to take the gap turret off the bottom here. There we go. And we're going to create a retractable drill turret. And slot that in place. Means we've got a little less firepower, but... Uh, Two gats we still got should be all right. We'll create a signal for it. Drill turret on the switch, and then we'll set that to follow the drill turret switch. It should retract and pop back out again. Cool. Okay. That was nice and simple. So now we can unconnect from that. And pop everything into the ore and wood container, which should now be our sort of. I never thought of an input really. We should swap them over really. Let's do that. Let's swap. Swap them over. Are they noise, man? So put that into cargo bay, then put the input into the ore and wood container, and then put the cargo bay cargo box into the input <laughs> right <laughs> so we rename this the auto group everything again oh yeah it goes under harvest of course it does I always move this into cargo box it just doesn't make any sense to me add to group cargo box right so that is now Output. That is now input. And that is going away. So we can connect to that and zap that back up again. And there we go. Bingo. We have just upgraded our ship to a little miner. Nightshade's on the roof. So, what I should do now. Is head back up into space. 
and uh, I think we can probably head to the um, asteroid field that we were in actually a little while ago and uh, get mining because these ore deposits down here they're all smalls and to be honest like my only method right now is to hand mine these all these resources are available in asteroid form up in orbit in much higher quantities and they'll be mineable much quicker with the mining drill so let's do it all right here we go here's a satium asteroid I'm gonna try and pick up sort of every bit of resource in here I mean there's everything here really all of it apart from the rest of the Zicosium. So I'm gonna try and pick up a bit of all of it if I can fit it in the boxes I will pick it up right so let's get the drill turret then we have to go into devices like the drill turret and the drill turret's pretty pretty quick um, now I'd need to do a test with a six manual laser drills or whether it's actually quicker to do it that way but it's pretty good and that's it now as soon as this goes into the box I'm gonna set the constructor off on turning it into ingots and then we'll move on to the next rock and rinse and repeat until we've basically got a decent stock of everything hopefully I could bring in a, a nice, a slightly bigger ship. I'm still not sure which one I'm going to bring in, to be honest. I need to go through my, my library and decide which one it'll be. Don't forget as well that once you've actually mined everything out that you want to mine, we've got um we've got a bit of stuff. I'm turning it into ore. The main thing is this crushed stone here, which I'm turning into ore. The rest I'm ingotting right now. But I'm gonna just uh, sleep for eight hours and hope the ships. Wow, I didn't use any power whatsoever. Win. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, that's still crunching ore. That's wonderful. That's still crunching ingots. And that's finished crunching in dots. Wow, that was amazing. Uh, let's get you crunching some cobalt then. Do some bunch of cobalt and magnesium powder as well while you're there. Just to get rid of the weight of that ore, really. Um, it's gone through some of the crushed stone. It's not doing too badly. Okay. Um, one thing I would like to get it to do once it's finished doing all that stuff as well is start producing fusion cells. So let's go ahead and unlock those and line up like a thousand fusion cells that should use most of the promethean if not all of it actually let's start with 500 let's not do let's not jump into 1000 straight away just do 500 we've got a bunch of water uh, ice in there from the ice asteroids um how much gold have we got 121 gold okay um the next thing i want to be able to bring in is a vanilla version of the regent that i uploaded i uploaded a reforged version of it um only a day or two ago that's on my workshop now the uh the regent very very luxurious cruiser <laughs> a reforged especially a little less luxurious in uh in vanilla because there's um not as much shields uh, i haven't got as much choice of weapon systems and things like that but uh it's still very very good um in fact it's more heavily armored it's faster because the thrusters are more effective in vanilla uh cpu is more generous in vanilla it's a tier 4 uh cpu vessel there's only 3 million cpu but you have to upgrade it to tier 4 in order to get that uh unlocked um so that costs if i two factory that now let's see where we are with it uh we need about 15,000 titanium yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, everything else is sort of 2,000 2,000 um or, or maybe like 500 500 500 500 
it so as over but the main thing is the large optronic matrices which we need four and bridges which we need uh eight so let's see if we can make those i think i've got two matrices so it actually only needs to make two more and the large bridges we have one so we need to make seven there we go line that up as well the ships barely use any fuel from from when we slept which is lovely i love that i'm just not sure it's supposed to happen that way <laughs> sleep again um and there we go we got the debug information out from when i was in creative mode right um 77 fuel still working away on those fusion cells chomped through a load of that chomped through pretty much all that crushed stone actually that's perfect has a perfect amount of crushed stone to be left over we can turn that into carbon whatever we want so that's lovely let's turn that all into there we've got like four four thousand iron eight thousand copper let's sort this out hang on let's have a look at proper look at this or sort by item type there we go now we can have a proper look at see what resources we've actually got still a bunch of silicon and copper needs to be produced and this is where i've got to be slightly careful with these constructors because if i tell it to produce more uh ingots than it has ore it will start churning that last bit of crushed stone that i've got there actually into more ore so at the moment that's about right and i think maybe like 100 or so needs to come off that it's divided by five, basically. It's five, five ores per ingot. So 3,871 divided by five. Go! <laughs> That's how much silicon I need to line up. And copper, likewise. To here. This is going to take us up to 10,000 titanium. What was the cobalt we needed? Cobalt, cobalt, cobalt is done. Don't need any cobalt. Lovely. Copper is done as well. That's surprising, actually. Um, restroom zircosium. None. Wait, what, really? No, here we go. It's just uh, We need about, uh, what is that, 600? Put 500 in, and then another 250. There we go. There's a done. Now, we're going to need to find some restroom. There is some on the barren metal planet in this system. Silicon is brewing. Carbon is the next thing, and another bunch of iron and titanium. Wood planks, easy. Zeno, Zeno substrate. Hmm. Yeah. Might have to go back to the Ilmarinen. Here's the, here's the thing. We left the Ilmarinen, but there is a bunch of Xeno on that thing. There is a huge amount of Xeno on that thing. That would that would easily uh, do the Xeno substrate. Now, the Xeno substrate in the uh, the region, because uh, there are Xeno blocks around, like the warp drive and the shield generator and stuff like that, the fuel tanks, and stuff, extra armor around key components. Um, so we can do that. Sathium. Oh, let's grab the Sathium. I need to reconnect. Them. And there's our we got well these are still cooking, I guess. We'll, we'll put these ones that we've got in there at the moment in there. We'll just slowly sort of build up this material list here. But yeah, wood planks eat the the bridges and matrices. I don't know why accessing constructors are suddenly really, really slow. The massive lag spike accessing constructors since the latest update. They're brewing. They're brewing. They'll, they'll take about an age. Okay, so in the meantime, I've got a bunch of pentaxid brewing. These guys are still working through the copper and then the silicon, uh, which I've now calculated to the correct amounts. So let's go. We need to find some restroom. Let's go to the barren metal planet and see what we can find down there. Simos barren metal. This is the papa. If we have a look in here, it's got everything on it. We could probably get some gold there as well so that we could fill up... Um, so that we can make some more bridges and make that seas as and when we need to. Uh, where the hell am I going? Where's the little marker? There it is. All right. Do you like the volus? It is very maneuverable. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I recognize that. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that. Nope. Nope. Not today. Not today. All right. Let's find some restroom. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. Quite a few missile systems on this thing, but they seem ballistic. Go turrets. Pick out the drones, please. Lovely. 
Alright, can you start working over the base now, please? No, 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 see, see, what you're doing there is you're attacking ground units. And not units I want you to attack. This is a problem. You're on bases and turrets. Alright? So ignore those. And it, yeah, see, now, see, you're still not shooting the turrets. The turrets are what, you know, they're, they're being wonderful. The enemy turrets are shooting you up perfectly, but. But you two are being utterly and completely freaking useless. Is it the position of the Is it the position I had the ship in? That's what the problem is. He's got one gat. One gat. He's gonna work over this defense station. This is gonna take hours. <laughs> you have to pull back in a minute and recharge the shields anyway. Go one gat! You can do it! Alright, so I got one of the turrets down. I think we can probably press on without risking the rest of the ship. Although it is what fifty-five degrees out there. All right, we're going to need some specialist armor for this then. Um, let me grab a heavy, um, a radiation. Wait, what? An insulation, mobility, jetpack, a radiation. We already got the radiation on. I do, I do, I do, it's fine. Okay, fine. Alright. Heavy armor then. Because the environment calls for it. We got jetpack boost, insulation boost, radiation boost. Hopefully that will keep us safe in the 12.8 rad rads with 41 degrees. It won't. What the hell? Oh it will. Okay, it's fine. Maybe it's the uh maybe it's the uh the the, the warp drive that we just walked over walked over. Okay. I don't want to risk the rest of the ship. The uh, actually, it's it was one missile turret and two artillery turrets, and uh, the artillery turrets are very really slow and and stupid, and and the missile turret is obviously a tracking missile turret. So what we're going to do is get in a position where the other missile turret can't see me. Jump over the incoming artillery rounds. <laughs> Holy crap! Try and get down this hill before they fire again. Okay, here we go. And underneath the guns. There we go. We should be safe now. Um, and this is probably going to be a hell of a lot quicker than trying to get one gap to take out three artillery or two artillery guns. And uh, pretty much. There we go. It's ours now. <laughs> All right, now I can fetch the ship. We can actually salvage this down, and then we can mine out the arrest room here. That was, uh, <laughs> that was hairy, wasn't it? <laughs> it was close. <laughs> it was really close. Well, hopefully these artillery pieces will um, provide a few nice components. Hmm, or not. <laughs> well, one thing I noticed is that this place is actually made out of hardened steel. And uh, I don't think it'll be overly difficult to make it collapse. I'm still getting radiation here, even with this boost on. Um, can, I, can I? Can I? Oh my god! It is stuck off the ground. I need to get back into the ship. Uh, what I want to do with that place is collapse it and then grab all the the, the bits because I think it will give me a load of titanium plates that will contribute towards the blueprint. Oh, I just made it. <laughs> that was gonna be that was gonna be bad if I can get back into the ship. So I'm gonna set my drone up here, switch structural integrity on, and then we're gonna just start removing the foundation pieces. Well let me just check, is there actually anything in here? Before I Oh there is, look. Two freaking loot containers in here. Let's grab these. Uh they're not bad, not bad. Kind of basic bitches, but you know. Can't argue with it. It's free stuff, right? Okay. That was close. Nearly deleted a bunch of loot. Alright, alright. This pupper's about to go. This pupper is about to go. There we go. Oh, yes. Then you run around as quick as you can with the drone and just F it. F it all. F it. Spam that F key. F it hard. Lose contact with drone. Not, not inventory full. It's fine. Uh, and there's always some floaty bits. Uh, usually take a block out and it will collapse. In this case it will just stubbornly stay there. What a piece of what a piece of floaty bastards. Get out of here. Alright, well there we go. Uh, that is that entire POI deleted. 
which is uh, which is fine. I am on single player, so I'm perfectly happy doing that. On multiplayer, not so nice doing that. It means that people then can't raid the same POI, and eventually you'll end up running out of POIs. So, out of that, we managed to get uh, almost three stacks of steel plate and almost three stacks of titanium plate as well. So chuck all of that into the connected toolbar, just as we are so used to doing now, along with those blocks, F2, let's see, does this get us our titanium, 14,000, 14, not quite, we're at 14,000 and 17,000, that's fine, we'll get there, the iron is nearly done, and everything else is, um, the iron, I mean, we just get the iron done, there we go, there's the iron done. <laughs> we need to go find some more titanium, but we are actually here for the arrest room. So, I'm going to grab the nightshade on the roof, run around with my little epic drill, and dig up some arrest room. Because there's a deposit right here, there's a deposit there, well that's a Zaskosian deposit there, but um, I should imagine those over there are is another defense post, and uh, two more restaurant deposits, hopefully. Let's go. Oh, look, a couple of cannon drones have come in to investigate why their uh, defense station is no longer responding. Well, we'll let them know. <laughs> Nightshade rules. Gotta be careful here, this thing isn't shielded yet. <laughs> It just flows, flies straight into some cannon drones, all ballsy. Biggie big, Mr. Big Balls. No shields on this thing. Good job there wasn't another air defense thing over there anyway. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's get this guy turning. Uh, what do we got? What do we got here? 1300 um, arrestrum ore into some ingots. That should satisfy the arrestrum requirements of the build. Yeah, I'm going to need about 500, so that should be fine. Okay, so we just need uh, the silicon, which is still brewing, carbon, which is easy enough, and a little bit more titanium, the bridges of matrices, that xeno substrate. Uh, so only a little bit more. Almost definitely we'll have our new ship in in the next episode, but unfortunately we have run out of time today. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to get off this place. I'm going to go to the El Marinan. That is going to be our source of titanium and xeno and uh, everything else uh, we can brew up in the constructors. But join me next time uh, when I should have a brand spanking new ship uh, for us to all enjoy. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye.